Hey everybody, it's Eric, and today I have a Bath & Body Works candle haul for you. You people came here on a really good day. It's their Christmas candles, their new Christmas candles that were released today. I almost put on like a Christmassy winter shirt for this, but it is so hot here, like it's pushing 80. <laughs> I'm just like sweating. I'm like, nope, that's not gonna happen. So uh, yes, we're gonna be talking about some new Christmas candles. Before I do, I wanna clear up a little confusion that happened this past Monday on Coffee and a Candle. Uh, if you don't watch Coffee and a Candle, you're not interested about that, you can of course skip ahead straight to the candle haul. But for those of you that watch Coffin and Candle, you might want to stick around for this. So yeah, as you know, if you are familiar with that particular video series, I'm throwing out a lot of information at you guys, a lot of different dates, and it can get confusing, I know. Um, and one of the dates I think that caused some confusion was when I talked about the Fall 3 Holiday Preview floor set on October 9th. I think some people were confusing that with today. So today was a candle release, a soap release online, uh, and some stores released the candles, some stores didn't. What I was talking about in that particular video was a floor set that's going to happen on the 9th, which will be multiple product lines for their holiday preview. So it'll be candles, soaps, um, probably some body care and other things like that. A floor set typically is at the front of the store, and it's typically a table or tables, depending on how big your store is. There's usually signage, like really nice signs for it, and it's just all put together really pretty with some props usually, and like I said, usually has different products on the table. So it might be candles and body care and um, uh, pocket backs, you know, who knows. So, like right now, we have a floor set out called Wonderfall, and that is usually going to be found at the front of your store. As you can see, there's a really big sign there. Sorry, I'm kind of close up there, but it's real tight quarters today in there. And then there's the candles here on the front. The back side of this table had some body care. So that is what a floor set looks like. So the next major floor set will be on uh, October 9th for the holiday preview. Uh, I know there is a small release coming out on the 1st, and then the actual major big holiday floor set is at the end of, towards the end of October, but we'll talk about that in Coffee and a Candle. Uh, that's, you know, not for here. But I just apologize for any confusion that I might have caused when I was talking about the floor set. I was not referencing uh, today's candle release. In fact, okay, I let's get into some candles, you guys. Bath & Body Works is having a $13.95 three-wick candle sale right now. So these candles are included. I also had a 25% off coupon that I was able to use that brought these candles to $10.46. <laughs> so I was able to um, kind of stock up on a few of them that smelled pretty good. The only two candles that I did not notice at the store that I was at I didn't see the white eucalyptus and sage, and I did not see winter. So those are the two candles I did not see. Those might be like online exclusives, I'm not sure. So yeah, I didn't see those at my store. But they did have this cocoa roasted chestnuts. It has a really pretty wintry jar style to it. And then your wax coordinates with the jar. Real pretty colored wax there. Your scent notes on this are roasted chestnuts, cocoa powder, and vanilla woods. So you get the cocoa, but that vanilla is very perfumey to me. That vanilla woods fragrance that it lists. Yeah, it's real perfumey to me, so I'm not quite sure if I like that or not. Uh, I'll have to give this one a burn to see if it kind of mellows out. Uh, and then as far as like the chestnut fragrance, it's not very nutty to me so I get more of that like perfumey vanilla than anything else on it uh, so I'll have to give that one a try the next one up is this Birchwood Orchard real pretty jar style for this I love the color very very pretty and then here's the uh, wax for it 
And your scent notes on this are white birch trees, fresh apples, and a hint of clove. I really like this one, you guys. You get the clove, there's a little apple mixed in with that birch fragrance. I would have picked up another one of these, but it smells a little bit on the light side to me, so I didn't really want to, you know, spend extra money storing a candle if it doesn't um, have a good throw. So we'll have to test this one out right away. Mm, but I do like this, the fragrance on this one. It's really, really nice. And I, the sales associates, you know, we were all standing around smelling these and they, they seem to like that one too. Everyone seemed to be in agreement on that one. We all seem to like that one. We try, please. Um, this next one is the Winter Pear Forest. Picked up two of these. And this jar style kind of gives me like fresh balsam vibes. It just kind of has that feel to it. And let's see here, your... Um, your wax, it's just like a kind of a greenish colored wax. Your set notes are winter green leaves, snowy pears, and a hint of cypress. So you can smell the pear. There is kind of like a woodlandy, woodsy feel to this candle. Mm, I do like this one. That's why I picked up two of these. I, I do like this fragrance. And the pear smells much better than that prickly pear sangria we just had. <laughs> I much prefer this one. So yes, it's really just kind of like a woodsy pear fragrance to me. Really, really like that one. And then I also picked up the uh, Spiced Citrus Grove. And I picked up two of these. And just has like a tan uh, jar style there. It's just kind of like a tan looking, uh, light tan colored wax. Your scent notes on this are ripe oranges speckled with cloves, cinnamon, and nutmeg. This one's really spicy. It's just got that classic Christmas spices going on, those holiday spices, the cinnamon, the clove, and all that. There is a slight orange fragrance. It's not very strong on the citrus, in my opinion, on cold. But I still really like it. It's a classic holiday fragrance to me. And I just was saying that the other day uh, on here that I was hoping that Bath and Body Works would just give us a nice citrus spiced candle. And they did. <gasps> Hurrah! Yeah! <laughs> so I'm really happy with that. Now, the, the girls there at the store, they weren't too crazy about that candle. But I, I actually like it a lot. Uh, next up is the Pistachio Toasted Vanilla. And we just talked about this recently on the channel and how it was coming back, and here it is. And your jar style is just made to look like a kind of like a hammered um, metal. Your scent notes are the salted pistachios and toasted vanilla almonds. Oh, it smells exactly the same, you guys, just like last year. Oh, thank you, God. <laughs> smells so good. I am so glad they did not mess around with this fragrance. I was like, please don't change anything. It was so good last year. Oh, you get the vanilla, the almond. It's kind of like a roasted, nutty fragrance. If you've never tried this candle and you like those kind of scent notes, pick it up. It is such a good candle. Totally, totally worth checking out, you guys. Uh, next is the Snowy Peach Berry. I've never, ever bought snowy peach berry, I don't believe, but I really like this frosted pink glass that they did. I will point out though, that these frosted glasses, they scratch really easily. I mean, this is a brand new candle that's just been on the floor today and it's already kind of, you know, banged up a little there. So just, you know, FYI, these scratch really easy. Uh-oh. <laughs> but they're very pretty. This one is sweet peaches, tart cranberry, and sugared musk. And it just has a nice kind of like a sugary, peachy fragrance. But it is on the light side, you guys. This smells pretty light. So I almost passed on it. But like I said, I don't think I have this in my collection. So I thought I'd add one to my collection. And then the last candle I picked up was the Eucalyptus Snowfall. And again, I just love this uh, frosted glass. I love the color. Oh, yes. Yeah, so lovely. This is your frozen eucalyptus, snowy spearmint, and winter lavender. Mm, I like this candle. It's nice, crisp, and fresh. You get the eucalyptus with that lavender. It's so fresh and just kind of refreshing. Mm, I like that. I do like that candle. And I love, love that color for this frosted glass. 
So that is the candle haul, you guys. Is this all? Nothing else. Please leave comments down below if you were able to get a hold of any of these candles and what you think of them. Let me know if your stores actually had these in stock today because I know some stores uh, were not putting them out today. So hopefully your store was. And as always, please hit that subscribe button and I'll see you later. Bye-bye.